गुड डे दिस इज डॉक्टर संजीव सिंह यादव आई एम बेसिकली ए सर्जन बट एज ए रूटीन आई नाउ प्रैक्टिस प्राक्टोलॉजी एंड प्राक्टोलॉजी मीन्स ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एनल कैनाल डिजीजेस लाइक द कॉमन वंस आर पाइल्स फिशर फिस्टुला एप्सिस और पस फॉर्मेशन इन दैट एरिया एलॉन्ग विथ पाइलोनाइडल साइनस दीज आर द कॉमन थिंग्स विच वी स्टार्टेड एज ए डे केयर प्रोसीजर because the concentration on anal canal diseases was not that much as every hospital was dealing more with gastrointestinal diseases like liver disease intestines stomach pancreas uh, gallbladder uh, and uh, appendix and other things uh, the concentration was not there on anal canal care and there are a lot of quacks in and around uh, the whole country where they are tying some threads and using some acid or some material to treat the anal canal conditions which is becoming painful and not successive basically the three major things which come into anal canal are the piles which we normally call as hemorrhoids in uh, technical term uh, bawasir is one term which is used very commonly in the urdu speaking uh, areas molalu is something which is called in telugu and uh, these are the conditions which create more problems to people in day to day life we will talk of piles first piles are basically three number in the anal canal if you take the anal canal is a clock they will be there at 3 o'clock 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock this is because the anal canal blood vessel distribution is like that right from the rectum where which is the last part of the intestine you will have the anal canal which is around 1 1 and 1/2 inch in length it is basically a fixed structure and in that you have lot of muscles like longitudinal circular muscles to help in removing the fecal matter similarly at the portion where the rectum joins the anal canal you have three cushions at 3 o'clock 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock which some which are something like tonsils and these cushions help in removing the content of the fecal matter like extra water which is needed to the body minerals vitamins salts and other things when the rectum basically which is more of a storage organ for the fecal matter which comes from the intestine above so that role of this anal cushions if it gets disturbed if it gets manipulated if it gets infected then slowly because of the internal anal pressure pressure the pile masses slowly come down three in number 3 o'clock 7 and 11 slowly they come they don't come that faster these are basically called as internal hemorrhoids because there is nothing like external hemorrhoids these are internal hemorrhoids the hemorrhoids are nothing but a bunch of anal cushions in which there are lot of small vessels like arteries and venules which join together and send back the ones which i told that absorption of water and cells to the upper part of the body through the vascular once they get infected they become bunch of vessels they slowly sag down with a skin cover on it that is the anal mucosa once they become more bigger then they start to bleed in these we have four conditions like grade 1 2 3 and 4 grade 1 is just starting of the sagging where it is difficult for the patient to find out unless a endoscopy is done the only condition they can know is some soiling or itching around the anal area and the underpants getting wet the second condition or second degree is when the pile masses started to sag down and sometimes they can also bleed after the motion is over it is basically a painless bleed the third condition is the pile mass almost come to the edge of the anal canal they may need pushing up or reduction to go into the anal canal after the motion is done they will touch your fingers when you clean your toilet like we do ablution even if you are putting a uh, toilet paper they definitely touch and they bleed till now all this is painless bleeding now the fourth grade is the whole pile mass coming out of the anal canal it is something like this and being like this and the whole area becomes swollen because the blood supply is on the top as the anal sphincter closes on itself the hemorrhoidal masses don't get proper blood supply so the venous system is activated and there is a swelling or edema as what we call as that is grade 4 in grade 4 pain might start bleeding might be a regular feature from 2 3 4 
and the swelling increases in, in nature the patients needs urgent treatment so these are the four grades of hemorrhoids they can be a combination of grade 2 and grade 3 grade 3 and grade 4 in the later part of the hemorrhoidal thing now the issue with this thing is once these three masses are coming down like this the space inside the anal canal reduces that is why the patient needs to go to the toilet at least 3 to 4 times he will have a feeling that something is still there something is still there that is the hemorrhoidal masses but the fecal matter also remains so he needs to go 3 4 times and every time he goes there is a bleeding it will be a very silent bleed the pain will not be there that is why the people will do one thing they will they will not consult the doctor they will try to take some medication once they start to feel some touch they will feel there is some disease in them but they will only come when you pain when the pain starts that is a grade 4 condition or maybe one of the pile mass is grade 4 the other two are grade 3 that is why the pain starts and that is why the patient comes to the doctor stopping bleeding is more important because a slow silent bleed can reduce the hemoglobin percentage of the body leading to other complications in the heart lungs liver kidney and the patient might go into a state of shock also i have seen patients coming with hb 3 grams 5 grams 7 grams 8 grams in which we have to give blood to them in a slowly phased manner because this blood is not continuous flow it is occasional and whenever the blood is there the retraction of the vessels happen god has given us some healing capacity some days the blood will stop then once again it starts that is the patient gets acclimatized to that type of surrounding and he will feel lot of dyspnea while he is walking restlessness body pains not able to concentrate on his work all these situations might come which can lead to uh, presence like this and create a bigger headache to the patient that is the reason why treatment of early hemorrhoids give a better result and the patient becomes well grade 4 ultimately patient will definitely come because he is having problem now after all these things after the problem of multiple defecations start patient will consult a doctor what we do here is we do a video endoscope after taking into consideration whether the patient is having diabetes hypothyroidism because in these conditions the intestinal motility gets reduced that is the reason why the patients may present very late but all said and done he might get more constipated and this is the reason why he will come very late we do a video scope and show to the patient on the tv show to the patient on the tv what type of disease is having earlier a proctoscope used to be done where the doctor himself used to see now the video cam scope will show the patient the disease per se and the patient will be rest assured that this is his present condition and after treatment the condition will definitely improve which will be shown to him after the surgery or the medical treatment is over right now the treatment part of hemorrhoids before that why it comes there are multiple factors why the hemorrhoid comes the most common factor is familial it could be genetic in nature it could be familial there is a reason why the patient will get hemorrhoids if i say that sir i don't eat one non veg i don't eat spicy food so in those cases we have to consider whether it is a familial condition where it is coming through families through ages number 2 constipation constipation is basically more of dietary water intake not having lot of fiber food having lot of non vegetarian food which doesn't get digested having lot of junk food like cheese burger pizza uh, bread and all those things which is normally not suited to the indian body right these may cause constipation pregnancy induced constipation will come because of hormonal action because of the weight of the uterus sitting on the uh, i mean uh, rectum and not allowing the motion to pass freely and patient will tend to avoid going to the toilet especially ladies because they have lot of work to do in the morning they'll try to postpone the toiletry activity which may lead to constipation like things so these are the common things other things which are there high up in the intestine like irritable bowel syndrome pseudo membranous colitis uh, ibs i mean ibs and, and uh, i mean uh, other diseases like tuberculous infection and uh, chronic infection of the intestines might lead to constipation and diarrhea and hemorrhoids can develop and more so when the patient is having a malignancy in the intestinal area so these things can come as i just forgot to mention crohn's disease is one other condition where there will be multiple uh, problems in the intestine 
where the normal uh, rugosity of the intestine is lost, lost that could be leading to watery diarrhea and uh, hard stool. So these are the conditions why you get hemorrhoids. Obesity is one major factor nowadays. Sedentary lifestyle, not eating good food, not doing exercise, eating lot of junk food and uh, watching TV for a longer duration can cause obesity which also runs in families. This could be one of the major reasons why you definitely can get hemorrhoidal disease. Now the treatment part. Earlier the treatment used to be tying the hemorrhoidal masses which are hanging but not doing anything to the hemorrhoidal vessel which is above on the anal canal. That is the reason why recurrence is very common. This tying was done at the area where the anal canal is there, where there is a spinter or door which could get damaged and could become tightening of the spinter leading to fissure formation or the total cutting of the spinter leading to lack of control. These are the earlier surgeries. What happens when you tie thread? There will be inflammatory reaction and the whole door will become very short. Fissure, a common possibility can occur because of this. You can get infection and get fistula or pus formation in that area. Nowadays with advent of modern mechanics, we do Doppler guided hemorrhoid artery, hemorrhoid vessel ligation that is closer of the blood supply of the hemorrhoidal plexus and either you do laser to that area so that the hemorrhoidal blood vessels shrink or you can do rectopexy or anopexy so that the pile masses are tied in such a way that they are done inside the anal canal and nothing is done at the level of the anal opening which might not cause any problem to any patient except for mild pain which is more than what is done in laser. So lasers are really helpful in treating the disease. They are a daycare procedure and definitely this has made a major change in the treatment of uh, hemorrhoidal disease and patients are really happy because they don't need to stay in the hospital. No need of major cutting, no need of any, dr any dressing and no need of having more pain. So early back to work is something which is something which is very needed to the patient and they are really happy with this type of procedures. This is regarding hemorrhoids, piles, bavasir or mulalu.